Hello, I'm Dr. Beth Godey. And I'm Dr. Martha Leatherman. I'm a geriatric specialist in psychiatry. And I'm a neuropsychologist, and I specialize in aging. We're experts in dementia care, and we're here to provide you some information and answer some questions that we hear very commonly about dementia and other issues in aging. In the last segment, we talked about sexual behavior uh, uh, among the re residents in facilities, nursing homes and uh, assisted living facilities, personal care homes, and how uncomfortable that makes the staff and families feel. Uh, and we discussed a little bit about how sexual behavior is a natural part of our behavior. But what we'd like to talk about now is how dementia can affect our behavior, especially as it relates to sexual behavior and to interactions between residents in the nursing home and also between uh, when a resident um, acts out inappropriately sexually uh, with a staff member during care. We talked about how not all sexual interaction uh, among um, elders in, in facilities is abnormal, um, but there are times when sexual acting out can be very inappropriate, can be harmful, uh, and can be a big problem. So we want to help you understand a little bit about why that happens um, and, and some ideas about where to go with it. I think the, the first thing to think about is that if you are told by the staff at, at a facility that your father, and, and it's usually more often men, but doesn't happen only with men, that your father has been uh, exhibiting himself, has been groping or touching uh, staff members or other residents, the first thought is one of horror among, among families. Um, because for, for the vast majority of people, this is not behavior that, that they have ever seen from their father. Um, and they're horrified. But go back to the frontal lobes. The frontal lobes, remember, are what keep us from acting out and doing things that, that we would never dream of, we would never think of doing. And that's because we, with the frontal lobes, you can't stop yourself. You're kind of not, not thinking. And in dementia, those frontal lobes are, are damaged. So any impulse and, and sexual impulses are a deep, deep drive in people. Um, it's like hunger, it's like anger. These are very primitive drives that just, they just get going. And without the frontal lobe to kind of stop that, it, it continues. So that your father uh, may have uh, enjoyed um, taking a peek at cleavage occasionally when uh, throughout his life it's a normal thing to be attract to look at attractive people but his frontal lobes were working so he didn't take any action toward what he thought was a pretty woman now uh, a, a female is coming in and undressing him to bathe him and his frontal lobes aren't working and he's not able to interpret what's going on or reason or reason or stop himself from reaching out and trying to grab the staff member's breasts as she's trying to give him a bath. So a lot of these happen during intimate care, but they can also occur just in the daily uh, life of, of the resident and the staff. Now I will tell you that the, the most common uh, question that I get uh, in, in regards to this is can you give a medication to stop this behavior and no no mm -hmm. you really no you really there is not any real good medication for that and the medications that are used in sometimes the most severe cases have all kinds of side effects and problems so we go back to environment 
and we go back to um, managing the behaviors non-pharmacologically, non without medication. And I, the story that I tell when I'm doing staff training is that when I see residents in a nursing home, I always wear a white coat uh, over my clothes. Now, uh, the joke is that I'm, I'm not real certain that I'd be that tempting, but in, in case I, I were, no. <laughs> in case I were, I always wear a white coat because that is a signal for people. This is a, a figure of authority. This is a doctor. And, and they, that helps them give themselves boundaries. So um, addressing residents as Mr. or Mrs. Jones or whatever instead of sweetie pie, honey, uh, baby, and hugging them around the neck from behind and being very loving and affectionate. Which is um, nice. Which is nice. And a lot of residents in the nursing home really need and appreciate that kind of attention. However, in those that have dementia and are unable to interpret your behaviors and understand the situation and can't keep themselves from taking some action, you really need to be um, aware of your behavior and your tone of voice and how close you are, uh, physically close, uh, to the resident. Each of these situations is a little bit different. Each of the triggers is a little bit different because each of the, each of the people is different. And, and at least this gives you some language and some, some room for discussion and, and some ways to start problem solving with the behaviors um, among the staff and, and people in the facility. Um, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it next time because there are actually some other, other issues to come up with it. Thank you. For more answers to questions like these, our book, The Insider's Guide to Dementia Care, is available at Amazon.com.